So here's an example where starting here, that marker is a little bit difficult for the tracker to read. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disable that. And you can just disable it by finding like kind of where you want it to stop. And I think I think about right here, it's it's blurry enough to where we can get rid of anything afterwards. So um, that's what this button here is for, clear track path. We've got clear tracks after or before. This one is after. And we just click that, and then it clears everything after the playhead. This button here does the same thing, except for it clears everything before the playhead. And now when we continue to play, it just stays there. Um, if you don't want to see the disabled markers, then you can come up to clip display and then uncheck show disabled, and then it will still be there. <laughs> and that's because it's selected. But if I uh, deselect everything or it's active, if you, if you make something else active, then that disappears. Okay, so we got another one on this side of the face that's going to be discontinued because you, it goes out of the frame. Basically, you can't see it when my head turns. And that's going to happen probably for uh, these two as well. I know it's probably going to happen for this one down here. Probably not this one. Actually, we can just see. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so this one is the only one that's really going to be able to stay. So a tip with this is um, don't l just leave it like it is. So like sometimes it will go to the edge and then it will slide and it will keep going. And it will, sometimes it will go all the way to the end and it will just slide around the footage like up here in the hair or around the side of the face. Um, just be careful with that. So I, like I said, I always come back and find the last great track. So see, it starts to be really blurry here and starts to just go haywire um, before it even loses the track. So I'm gonna come back to here, I think, something like this, right here. 148 looks good. I'm just gonna clear everything after that so that uh, everything after that doesn't mess up our track. Let's just say, okay, for sake of demonstration, this is really jittery. So what we can do is come over here find out the range of where that's jittering, probably, yeah, just right there. So 108 to about 120. So with our marker selected, I just press B to box select, and we're just gonna box select all the way until 120, and then Shift D to disable. So from here to here, it's disabled, and it comes back in right there. And uh, let's see if that actually uh, worked. Oh, and I accidentally have these selected, so, uh, Alt A, make sure nothing is selected first, and let's do that again. So what we had um, was at, starting at 108. Actually, I can probably even go later, maybe 110 to 120. Yeah, just those 10 frames. So box select and shift D, we're just gonna disable those. All right, 